Stop the pop. The Power Pop Protein Drink Compound has a lot of security for a drinks company. It has a lot of security for a security company. Industrial grey angles make a brutally constrictive atmosphere. Trucks come and go with Power Pop products. Trucks which look almost military. The Jolly Company logo, which is everywhere, cannot hide the sinister undertone, much like a clown with a funny honking red nose. Can't be anything but super weird creepy. The smell of acrid industrial plastics and melting carcinogens hangs above, blocking out light and clean air. It's a chemical cloud which seems to penetrate your eyes and lungs and makes your skin itch. The whole place is like it's built purposely to offend all your senses. Inside one of the depressingly grey super secure warehouses hides an eye-achingly bright TV studio. It feels as out of place as a kid's section ball pit in a fancy five-star restaurant. The set looks like the walls have vomited fluorescent colours in a museum of the strange. All sorts of cryptozoology artefacts and proof adorn the space. Tentacles in jars, blurry photos of monsters, blown up newspaper articles mentioning weird beasts, ancient art containing paintings of strange creatures, recreated models of cryptids, as well as way too many funky LED lights. Joey Lee is filming for the social media daily update. He jitters around full of life energy as he chats to the camera, his long curly hair dancing around behind. Eric films while constantly looking at data on his phone. Joey is joyously holding a plaster cast of a small handprint with three fingers with octopus-like suckers on the end. Joey delivers his lines in his laid-back but kinetic way. The newest cast! Look at this! Beauty bros! Lucky three fingers, suckers, webbing! Imagine this dude surfing! He could stick the tube for sure, right bro? Joey smiles a big painful grin into the camera and holds his fist out for Eric to bump. Eric is too busy looking at the data coming in. Joey's grin begins to quiver. He clicks his fingers. Eric finally realises and fist bumps Joey. Took this cast from a riverbed in sunny OC California IA. We didn't manage to catch the crypto dude this time, but sub and ding to find out what we did find water watching out west. Remember my crypto crew bro buds, keep watching those woods, keep hunting the hidden so we can find more Fortean friends. Joey has a vast friendly smile on his face. Eric ends the segment. Cut that, sweet stuff, we'll bang that out for the bro backers at midnight and general at six. Joey's smile now drops from his face and seemingly turns upside down, mirroring both his expression and motion. His whole joyful energy changes to hateful stiffness. You left a bro hanging, Eric. Eric immediately knows this is dangerous trouble. Sorry, sir bro. I was checking a situation. Think we have something. A Mondo wave to ride. Joey gets real still, real serious. No bro, you don't leave me hanging. You never leave a bro hanging. My fist was there to bump. You didn't bump bro, 
You didn't bump. He stares at Eric for an intimidating beat. Eric is scared, not knowing how dark this will get. Eric gets a hairband off his wrist and gives it to Joey, who puts his free flowing hair in a too tight top knot man bun. It stretches Joey's face skin, making him look real harsh and skeletal. He has done all of this while not breaking eye contact with Eric. Joey turns and walks out of the studio. Eric waits a second to swallow his fear. Oh cool, cool cool. He reassures himself as he follows. Joey and Eric enter the real heart of the compound. It has the look, vibe and stench of a military prison, a slaughterhouse and a sugary drinks factory. A sweet smell of caged rancid death. Protein powered drinks run through many see-through pipes across the walls and ceilings and into large industrial bubbling vats. A small army of armed hired goons dressed in military style outfits with a darkener insignia of the Crypto Bros on it bustle around. As Joey passes them, they give him a scared surfer salute, which consists of making a fist, but with your little finger and thumb poking out. He ignores them. Joey is now focused and more comfortable in his real role. Still ever the surfer dude bro, just a more evil version. One which probably punches dolphins and pees on sea turtles. Report! Hit me! Eric reads off his phone. Strawberry Strong Squad cannot confirm the sightings in Alabama. Premium surveillance says the report was most likely a beaver, not a river mermaid. Bummer. They bagged and buried all the beavers in the area to avoid any confusion. Joey approves. Sick, yo. Eric continues the reports. 36 new reporting sightings from across the globe. Five strong candidates for a pop squad recon. Joey approves even more. Wicked. He approaches a water tank. Around it are more guards and scientists taking readings. There are more see-through pipes leading from it and a big red button hangs on a wall high above it. A sad looking sickly water cryptid is inside. It looks like a goldfish which has been flushed down the toilet, crossed with a terrified baby turtle. Its scales hint of a brightness which has long faded. Its big eyes which should be bright are milky sad. Fins droop as it gasps to breathe. The small vulnerable being reaches its hand out for help. It perfectly matches the handprint Joey paraded on his video. The eyes of the creature are asking for compassion, but Joey stares back into them with no emotion, not blinking. Eric feels the familiar, unwelcome ice quiver down his back. Uh, the, the reason I was glow up excited, sir bro, was one very rad hot sighting among them, sir. Joey breaks his gaze for a moment to look at Eric. The ice quiver is followed by a polar zone frostbite to the spine. Eric is glad when Joey turns his eyes back on the ailing creature. Eric tries to show his phone to Joey, but he ignores it. A, a young girl first contacted us via our channel. Her town has been on our radar for yonks. Lots of unconfirmed creature sightings. Check to social media. Dude, believe it's a hotspot. She posted a photo of a tooth and a photo of the beast. Joey instantly grabs the phone from Eric, who flinches backwards. Joey stares in twisted delight at the photo of a Medicus photobombing Big Gummy. Oh bro, we found him. We found the beast. My tormentor, my nightmare, my monster. Man, get shiz nailed. No mistakes, no double takes. I'm finally going to get my revenge. Lock that town down. 
any other creature, freakers in the location, get taken along with him. What recon teams have we got near? Eric checks. So dude, we have Red Raspberry Squad 50 clicks west. Joey is already mentally dissected his next capture. Have them scout, assess the number of creatures in the area, no engage in the enemy until we arrive. Then it's full on permission to procure creatures with extreme prejudice. Full blown, full auto, full force, firepower. Decimate anybody who gets their body in front of us and our pop prizes. The rest of us roll out tonight and rock up tomorrow. Order more juice bottles, bro. Eric looks disturbed as Joey is almost salivating about his planned devastation. Joey goes back to his frozen gaze into the eyes of the poor suffering water creature. Joey clicks his fingers. <coughs> Eric looks pensive, reaches into his jacket and brings out an old west style gun holster belt and clips it around Joey's waist. Joey's hands hover over the revolver now on his hip. His muscles coil like a taut spring. Finally, bro, I will juice my personal nightmare. It's boom time! Joey clicks his fingers. Eric throws a bottle of Big Gun Blueberry protein drink into the air. All eyes follow it. Joey draws his pistol, spinning it around his finger with flair, then BANG! He shoots the bottle, which sends it higher. Bang! Bang! Another! Dead shot center, lifting it further. Bang! 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 Every shot a bullseye. Bang! The final shot from the six-shooter sends the leaking pop bottle spinning into the big red button above the tank. As it presses it, a red light and siren start. Joey spins the now empty smoking sidearm and in one motion holsters it. The water cryptid looks down into his tank as a hole opens beneath him. A shocked face and reaching hands is the last sight of him as he twirls down the plug hole. Joey hands the gun belt back to Eric. Dude, we are finally gonna bag my beast. Sweet! Joey walks off as the tank drains. The last of the gloopy liquid rushes out of the tank through pipes which lead all around the warehouse the same way the water cryptid went. It passes dozens of monsters in cages stacked on top of each other. Cryptids are everywhere, all in pain. The gloop continues onward past a wall lined with mounted monster head. Trophies from previous kills. The liquid ends its journey in a protein drink vat labelled Blueberry Bangarang. There it gets squished, blended and churned before being squirted into bottles packed and sent out on the trucks. Monus monsters, oh what fun Horns and tentacles, they wave Healing cryptids, so brave Through the trees, we weave our path Laughter echoes, hear our laugh Every creature is our friend Come on, join us till the end Monus monsters come to play In the night and in the day Magic whispers through the air Adventures mating 